You're like, I don't know what to even put down as a list to pray for. Pray for new things in your life. We all have new things in our life. We have a new year in our life. Pray for protection, God's guidance. If you have needs in your life, Lord, ask ask God to help you with your needs. Where are you blessed in your life? Every one of us is blessed some way, somehow. Have you, thank God for those blessings in your times of prayer. This morning I was sitting there praying. I was like, God, thank you that I get to be a dad. I don't always think about that, but it came to my mind this morning. I stopped and said, thank you for getting to be a dad. What things have you not thanked God for? You're carrying a burden that feels heavy. Lord, help me to carry it. You're facing a crisis. Lord, give me wisdom. When you're worried, Lord, Philippians 4, 6 through 7, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Give them to God. You got sin you're struggling with, and we all got sin, right? Ask for, for repentance. I mean, for forgiveness. Repent of those sins. How about the lost people in your life? People who don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Pray for them. Pray for the expansion of God's kingdom. Man, there's so many things to pray for. Pay for against temptation in your life to give into fear and anxiety or, or to addiction, whatever temptations that you have. John Piper says one of the reasons that we don't pray is because we think it's peacetime. We think everything's easy and at odds. We don't understand the spiritual war that is going on behind the scenes, like our men's group and our women's group studied this last year, that there is a spiritual battle for our souls. Most of all, pray for script, pray scripture. Do you know you can pray the Bible? You ever not know what to pray? You open up the Bible. You take, hopefully you, you got into a Bible of the year or a New Testament a year and you got some other friends that are gonna do it with you. And if you're not, today's the first day. So you can get on it right day to day. And, and when you pray, when you read it for that day, pick something that stood out to you. Pray that to the Lord. 